Hey Flats Class YouTube, Captain CA here and it's windy outside. I'm gonna apologize right now, we're gonna have a lot of wind in the mics today. Um, but that's what the lesson is today. The lesson today is what lures to fish and how to fish them when we get in situations where we have these type of skies, very overcast, and a lot of wind. We're supposed to have wind today anywhere between 10 to 20 miles an hour. But I can tell you right now, it feels like it's going to be a lot harder than that. So we're going to run out here to the end of one of my favorite creeks and start beating around some of the points and see what lures I'll be throwing today that's going to help you catch more fish in the wind. Stay tuned. I'm throwing today, this is the Mulletron 4.5 inch line through. That's why they call it LT. And it's one of the baits I rely on when we have a lot of what I would call dark skies and, and breezy weather. Um, it's a big profile with a big thump. And it does a, a fantastic job of mimicking the actual bait that's back in here, finger mullet. And I'm just working a corner here on this lower tide face to see if I can't catch one. Cast a country mile on this rod. I'll give you the breakdown on everything here in a minute. Let's just see if we can catch one. I'm trying to move in there real slow. I may adjust my position here in a minute. I just want to get six or ten casts in here see if I can pop one, a bigger one, because every once in a while I felt a little tap, which tells me there could be ladyfish in here, there could be some smaller trout in here, there could even be some you know, redfish that are under 18 inches that might have a hard time um, getting grabby with this bait, but let's see what I can do windy days I like to have a big bait like this. I may move up about two boat lengths and cover a little bit more water here. I'm going to apologize now for the wind noise in the mics. I have a foamy um, cover on all the mics right now that are on the GoPros but it is just it's one of those days. This is a typical fall day where you have a lot of wind before the front and a lot of cloud cover. Let's get one more up here. And then I'll feel like I've covered it enough. And then I'll move up two boat links and we'll do this one more time. See if there's anyone at home. water temperature sitting between 72 and 73. It hasn't gotten that cold yet. But later this week we're supposed to have somewhat of a mild front push through. It won't drop the water temp a whole lot. But without any sun out, it's always a challenge. Right. I'm going to reposition the boat with the power pole move and the, and the sticks here. I'll be right back. Alright, we moved up about 30 feet, 40 feet. Let's see if I can hit this corner a little bit better now. I'd rather take this in small bites and get into windy conditions like this. It's pretty valuable to have a, a good trolling motor and a reliable power pole shallow water anchor. You can, you can surgically work a zone in the wind 
and there's only a few baits that you can throw in the wind. There's not, a, you, you want something that has a bigger profile, pushes more water, maybe a blade bait like a spoon that's flashy, again, vibration, uh, bigger suspending plug possibly, uh, where you can still cover some water and throw some more flash. There's a, there's a couple of different ways to attack windy weather and be successful. Sometimes I'll throw a swim bait like this and put an underspin on it to give it a little bit of flash and call a fish in from a little bit further away. But typically I go to either darker baits or brighter baits and I definitely go big because I know I'm not going to have the advantage of sight fishing and I've got to cover water and I want something, a profile, that I can rely on for long casts. Long casts and a big signature. Ooh, man, that was a good hit there. I'm telling you what. Wow, surprise, that one, that one hit it. I mean, it was a hit. It was, it was not a ladyfish. It jumped that rod. God, dog, he's following it. Man, I can't believe I missed him. The only way thing I can explain is it he's got to be small enough where he can't get over the back of the bait to get to that hook. Now this hook comes all the way out once a fish gets on. So I'm making a good 120, 100, 130 foot cast with this setup. Coming through a little bit of grass there. And I'll break this setup down for you after a minute or two here. I just wanted to get a little fishing in before we tried to get in a lee where you could hear me. And we could go over the baits that are ideal for windy conditions. Um, that list can be pretty long depending on what, upon what brands you're loyal to. But uh, for the ones that, that I fish on a regular basis and those that follow the channel, know, know that I'm a Z-Man guy, I'm a Mirror Lore guy, I'm Bugs, Aqua Dream, I'm all those those people I'm going to speak to those brands and then you can draw your own conclusions on your favorites you know you can match them up and we're on nice big red fish that was the thump I felt a minute ago where he just didn't get all of it Solid fish. I mean solid. And that line through mullet is just one of my go-to's when it's in this condition. Now this is going to be a, a big slot fish. It really is. Big slot fish. He just trashed that mullet. Ooh. Oh. What a gorgeous fish. Let's see if I can get down here without trying to net him. Oh, oh, it came out right there. <laughs> I should have netted him. That was a lesson learned right there. But, all things considered, I was going to release him anyway. We're going to talk about this bait and the setup I used to catch him. Alright, I took off the Mulletron and I am picking up an aqua dream spoon another great windy day bait i've got a swivel that i added to it I'm throwing it on a medium moderate fast rod that way i won't pull the hook 10 pound braid it's the diamond braid they're a new partner to our channel Let's, uh, let's see what we can do.
flats are running dry. They almost have to be here in the creek itself now. And this northeast wind is a steady 15 to 20. It's been pretty brutal. We're moving into a salooner period right now, so I'm hoping we'll get a little bit of bite here on the turnaround on the tide. But again, using the high percentage long casting, you know, throws a thump in the water baits like spoons, the mulletron. Another big favorite of mine is a Hercules with a uh, underspin on it. The little four inch Hercules swim bait with an underspin. That's another good, good choice. Um, Mirror Lure XL in brighter colors. You know, I like that bait a lot too. It throws a lot of flash. But right now it's, it's kind of shallow to be throwing the swim bait. So I'm throwing the Weedless Spoon from Aqua Dream. This is the copper color. And I'm just trying to make something happen here on this slow tide. Oh, wow. And we got one there. Looks like a trout. A trout on a spoon. I mean, he hammered that about as fast as... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's running. I mean a big lady fish at that. Not not what I wanted, but it felt good to feel something sting that hook. It's hooked good enough where I'm gonna have to handle them, unfortunately. deeper but a little deeper <sighs> gotta stop there just won't commit Again, comes down to working those windy day lures. This one here is juiced. It's on the Aqua Dream Copper. Just a beautiful fish. I mean, beautiful. Come on over here, buddy. Come on over here. That's a fish. That's a good one. A really good one on the spoon. Yeah. That's what it takes. It takes baits that put a signature out 
and you can you can really do some damage even on the windy days all right get this guy back in the water off he goes Whew. all right well let's see if we can't get another Just got to find lures that you can fish in this kind of nasty conditions. I'm sure you guys have your favorites, I have mine. Usually big and flashy gets it done. Another trout. Doing a good job on those guys now on the Miradine XL. This is a custom color. But the main thing is it's a big loud color, something that really gets their attention. Swing them in here and see if I don't lose this one. Whoa, lost that one too. Didn't bring the net out, so I'm, I'm just dealing with a little bit of fall off the hook here at the boat trying to launch them in but this bait here has uh has been crushing the trout for me here in the last 30 minutes good bright color big flashy bait and on these really super windy days it takes baits like this baits like the mulletron lt baits like spoons um hercules swim baits with underspins it's gonna take something like that on a windy day to be able to get the fish's attention. Get out of here and see if I can catch another one. I've caught a couple in a row now. Trying to let that plug sink a little bit, but then giving it a couple of real hard flashes to get their attention. They like to hit it on that stop. Just kind of wedges down in the water like that. Gets a good little sink to it. On that fall, they'll, they'll smack it around pretty good. All right, let's review a little bit. When you're challenged with days where you have, you know, this type of sky, gray, overcast, and you've got as much wind as we've had today, you got to use lures that will expand the strike zone. So the choices that I used today was the, this is the line through Mulletron. This is the four and a half inch. It's a great bait and it's a bait that I use a lot uh, in, a, in a variety of situations. But today, definitely one of the times that I would use it. Um, this is a MR27, or you guys know it as the Miradine XL. This is a great bait to use this time of year in these type of conditions. There was a big flash, big flash, and it's got that nice, bright, fluorescent contrast. Uh, I use a lot of pink in this situations as well. The other thing you gotta consider is you've gotta be able to make these casts very close together in here. I mean, 
instead of throwing a cast here and then moving it over 15 or 20 degrees and making another cast and moving it over 15 or 20 degrees and making another cast, what I'm going to want you to do is make a cast, then maybe 5 to 10 degrees make a cast, then maybe 5 to 10 degrees make another cast. You've got to tighten them up, if you will, to cover the water thoroughly to catch fish. Uh, Another bait we had some success with today is the spoon. This is the Aqua Dream and the Copper, but I use that bright Mountain Dew green color quite a bit. But spoons, another bait, flash with what little available light that I have here. It's an excellent opportunity to make those casts and have that flash and that wobble and that throb in the water that turns fish on. And then lastly, I will use these four inch swim baits. These are the Hercules swim baits. You've seen me use them on the television show. I use them a lot here on YouTube. But what I like to do is add a little TRD spins. I plug it right here in the bottom and I give it an underspin feel. In fact, it, with a swivel, you can attach it right here to this little belly um, eye that they have there. And then you can have the underspin. But that underspin look where you've got a swim bait that you can cover water and you make long casts with that. This is a 3 8 of an ounce Hercules swim bait. So you can punch it through the wind and then you can reel it. But it has that little flash underneath that the TRD spins does a good job. All right, moving on. Let me grab the rod here and we're going to talk about the rod. Okay, let's talk rod and reel setup for what we were learning today. In many cases, I'm punching a bait caster in a lot of these power fishing situations. But today, because the wind was so hard, I decided to go with a spinning setup. I went with the Shimano. This is the Twin Power XD. This is the 4000 size. It's packed with 10 pound diamond light blue um, braid from Diamond Fishing Products. I've got probably about four feet a liter on here, maybe even four and a half on this, tied with a modified Albright knot. And I've got four, this is 30 pound, 30 pound. I wanted to put 40 pound on, I put 30 pound diamond illusion on that. And the rod itself is, uh, this is a Fitzgerald Aquafin, okay? This is their medium fast seven foot. Uh, the medium action is about the weight it throws uh, lures up to three quarters and none of these baits today were over three quarters. This one here, probably right at three quarters. Um, this is a 3 8 swim bait. Naturally, um, this rod's pretty versatile, allowed me to throw that little quarter ounce spoon, but I added a swivel to it, so it was probably a little heavier than a quarter. And this rod does a good job of making nice casts with everything from maybe, I'm going to say, 3 16 all the way up to three quarters. Um, but that faster tip allows me to have, a, a you know, that that long cast that it would give. If it was a moderate tip, it, it might have been too light, but with the fast tip, it did a good job. So that's basically the setup that we used today. Those are the lures we used for cheating the wind, for beating a day like today. And we had some success. We caught some nice trout and a couple of good reds. In fact, the reds were really good. If you like what you're learning here on Flats Class YouTube and you're able to take it to your waters and catch fish, well, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and help us trend. The more subscribers we get, or the faster, I should say, we get to 50,000 subscribers, the more places I can take you more often. Now, right now, at the current pace we're at, we are producing a video every day. So, if you want to learn more about inshore fishing, make sure you stay tuned here. All right, I got to fire that Yamaha up and get on back to the house.